Kid says he's got a pencil stuck in his ear, but Doctor pulls out something much worse. Children surprise and delight us, but there are plenty of occasions where adults question what the intentions behind some of their strange behaviors are. This young boy was one such situation but with a weird twist. He decided for whatever reason that it would be a good idea to stick a pencil in his ear except it was actually something much worse. Some toddlers and young children put small foreign objects into their ears, noses, or eyes out of curiosity. Why? They're experimenting with the world around them and learning what happens when they try different things. Lewis King was definitely no longer a toddler, so no one, especially his grandmother, was expecting what he was about to tell them. It was while Lewis's granny, Sheila King, was babysitting that this whole story unfolded. It was the family's routine that granny would look after Lewis while his mom was away at work. A common enough situation, but it's still a big responsibility to look after a very active little boy. She didn't realize just how wrong things could go under her watch. Her daughter would never forgive her if something bad happened to Lewis, her pride and joy, while under her care. So, of course, that is exactly what happened. Lewis was completely silent, coloring in his room. She should have known that a quiet child is up to something. It was silent when it happened and completely preventable if she had been watching him closely. But you can't watch a 10-year-old all the time. It was only when Lewis started complaining about a pain in his ear that Sheila knew anything was wrong at all. If he hadn't told her then, it could have serious repercussions. She looked into the offending ear hole, but without any special tool on hand, it was impossible to see anything other than darkness and black. Time was of the essence now. Sheila quickly got her things together and followed the emergency plan. Would she make it in time? Sheila finally arrived at the hospital with the little boy in tow. By now, he had slipped from panic into sobbing tears. He couldn't understand the full implications of what they had done, but the seriousness of the situation made him very nervous. They wouldn't have to wait long to hear what the doctor had to say. Dr. Philip Russell was the doctor on rotation that day. He looked into Lewis's ear but soon realized he'd need much more sophisticated tools to identify where the pencil nub was. The boy's ear was completely blocked. Lewis tried not to wriggle as the doctor fiddled inside his ear. It was a long wait with an unknown prognosis. The pencil was lodged so deep in Lewis's ear that it took a lot longer than anyone expected to get the tool around it but eventually Dr. Russell managed the nearly impossible. He told Lewis to hold very still as he extracted the dangerous piece of wood and graphite from deep inside the boy's ear canal. As the object reached the opening of the boy's ear, everyone was stunned. It looked nothing like a pencil at all. You've done a good job of it, I'll tell you that, the doctor comments to Lewis on the sheer depth of the object. His grand looks on and shakes her head in dismay. Is that all of it or just part of it, the doctor asks and Lewis responds with a decisive, that's all of it, I think, yeah, that's all of it. But the doctor wasn't satisfied with just Lewis's word, let's have another look in your ear, he said as he tiled the boy's head again to complete the search. What he saw inside left the doctor feeling very uneasy. A tiny, round, and rather wide object balances in the doctor's forceps. Lewis, feeling some relief in his head, turned as soon as it was out. Everyone in the room looked at the offending object and puzzled looks spread from Dr. DeGran and then they looked at Lewis. He didn't seem too worried that the pencil in his ear was actually a whole battery. That happens to look more like a watch battery to me, Dr. Russell questions the boy. Are you sure it was a pencil? And suddenly Lewis isn't sure anymore. I don't think it actually was now. Having a pencil lodged inside your ear is dangerous enough and the risks are obvious as Dr. Russell explains. The worst case scenario is that he gets a deep routed infection and that could affect his hearing balance coordination and if left long enough, he could even go deaf with it. It was a lucky thing that the skilled doctor was able to find it and remove it entirely. I can't see your eardrum, which means it's gone. It means you've made a hole in it. Now that can happen with things like this, the doctor said, addressing the upset Gran. We don't repair it or anything. It will repair itself. What was weird and a little concerning was that the boy thought a battery was a pencil. So we have to ask ourselves, were there other objects he'd put up his nose or in his ear that he'd managed to get out successfully by himself? Or was poor little Lewis just afraid he'd get into more trouble for a battery than a pencil? 
It doesn't seem like he'll be telling us any of his secrets anytime soon, but we do hope he's learned a valuable lesson, even if just for poor old Grand's sake.